uh, it starts us off back up here, um, back here. Uh, remember back in, I think it was part 19, where I said there was a mega trick for one up for lives? Well, this is pretty much it. Which, after beating the, I stated that there's a lot of one ups, and after beating the furnace of fun, you really have, you can just freely walk around the board, and there's a lot of one ups on this board. I think there's three on here my knowledge. There's one here, and then there's two all the way up here. Uh, when I get to it, up in that corner there. So, this is the mega trick for getting lives, is just head this way, because, to be honest, I don't think you're really going to need that many more than three lives, these three lives, and there's actually another life through this next room here. And, um, I'm actually not going to be heading here quite yet. I'm going to be heading down, down one last place. We activate that, and, oh, A10, yeah. I guess that that makes sense. So, yeah, they do sort of make you go through Click Clock Woods, but you could just grab 10 notes in springtime. But, uh, wait, no, because you need to open up the place, so... Yeah, that, that makes sense. They do require you to go to Click Clock Woods. Anyways, I'm gonna off screen to an earlier level in an er, er, an earlier place in an earlier level. So I will see you guys for that in one second. Off screen. Okay, I am back here again because if you remember, we got some new cheats that will help us with this part of the game. So the first cheat we want to enter is Red Feathers. Uh, I entered blue feathers off camera, but it's it shouldn't be any hard to enter. So yeah. Uh, e R S one hundred red feathers. All my feathers. Oh, whoops. Kick. Um, yeah, red feathers is recommended entering for the final battle. Same with gold feathers. I don't think you really need that much eggs, but blue eggs is also pretty recommended. And the uh, other cheat we got from Cheeto several parts ago. If he, even though I just recorded all the, these parts like a few days ago, like. God, it feels like ages since I actually done those. Okay, gold. Feathers! 20 gold feathers you get. New maximum 20 is gold feathers. Okay. 20. Bruises. You'll still get plenty. Okay, now that we have that, I'm gonna off-screen the top floor in Grunty's Lair, because that is pretty much, pretty near everything in the game. There's one last secret, but it's up in the last, in the last upper parts of her lair, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, I'm back at the top floor. First of all, I'm ready to open up this door here. <laughs> and when you head on through here, uh, through here is actually the machine that the game over screen, which I never showed yet, but, and I don't really plan on showing for obvious reasons. Uh, yeah, she was gonna use this machine to, she uses it to switch herself in with Tootie and becomes, like, pretty attractive and Tootie becomes, like, grunty and all ugly and stuff. Makes me gasp for air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that one before. Anyways, up here it is. The last, well, second last puzzle in the game. This is fully required in order to get through. It's not over, stupid bear. See my picture over there? Fill it up. No, me. Lots of jiggies to make it complete. 31 takes an insane amount of jiggies. 20... 25, I believe. So, yeah, I was pretty sure it was 24, but I, I'm, now that I think about it, it's 25. 
And here we have. Oh, I'll show this. Gee, what a disgusting smell. Ooh, visitors from Deep Pot. I like visitors. It's a wonder you get any sore breath. Um, what does this food for anything mean? Er, she said that we're looking for Grunt Hill, but do you know where she is? I sure do, Mr. Bear. Grunty's awful, you know. She was. Girl, if you can get rid of her, I'll be free. I can help her sure you slowly pot. Soon I'll have you nice and hot. See the filthy clothes I've got? Well, I've been wanting to wash a lot. Don't worry, Ding Pot. We'll sort her out. She's kind of way up there. No problem. Just splash in the fire up there. To the top. Jump in there and I'll wait, Ding Pot. Come on, Kazooie, you get a chance to peek at the witch's butt. Let's go. I know I didn't really give much good voice actors for these. Anyways. These doorways here. Um. I'm gonna skip over, uh, I think 858 or something is the, no, 882, that's the one I'm skipping over currently, because it leads to the huge reward. There's this, but these items are here are egg repl full replenishers for all your items. 864, and it's a gold feather replenisher, so... Yeah, you can recharge on all your items. I'm already full on them with the maxed out things. And here is one last secret for the game. Requires 882 jiggies. She puked at me. It was awful. 882 notes. Open it up. See, I actually barely had enough to open this on my other file. I only had 889. So, yeah. You need quite a lot of notes to get this. And here we have one last jigsaw puzzle. Requires four last jiggies, meaning you can potentially have two left over. And it's a double health expansion, meaning you'll now have 16 honeycombs. And with that, that is everything in Banjo-Kazooie has to offer, except, it's sto except stuff related to stop and swap and one other bonus that honestly doesn't reward you with anything other than a few cheat codes and an achievement in the Xbox version. And because of that, I don't see much point in showing that off until later. So, now, that being said, next time, we will have for the final battle.